Hello everyone, welcome to the Showcase channel. I uh, hope your night is going good. Um, I hope you've, uh, if you haven't seen my contest video, please check it out. Um, it should be pretty fun. Uh, but today, I have a little PC video. Just wanted to show real quick while I have the time. And just hanging out here around the house trying to think of a video to make for you guys. Um, it's going to be basically just a PC. These are cards that I'm going to try to get graded or I'm going to get graded. I'm not going to try. I mean, hopefully I get them all graded pretty soon. I've had them uh, sitting around for a long time. I've been meaning to grade all these cards. So eventually I will make another video showing uh, the grades that all these cards got. Um, I'm not going to grade them all at once though. I usually, whenever I send cards into grading, I usually only grade about six cards, maybe five to six cards. So, anyways, starting off, um, I have a lot of rookie cards. It's all, it's a mix, uh, basketball, baseball, and football. Mostly base, or mostly basketball. Alright, but starting off, this card should grade really sweet. Doesn't really book very high, but it's almost uh, like pristine condition. Uh, 97, 98 tops. Kobe Bryant. I found this card in my PC the other day, right before I made the uh, Jordan LeBron video, or the Jordan LeBron PC video, or whatever. And I found this and. Uh, I put it in a holder because it should grade really well. It almost looks, uh, I'm hoping that it'll get a 10 pristine because the corners are perfect and the centering is like per the perfect. So I'm hoping that it'll get a 10 pristine. At least it'll get a gem mint 9.5 for sure. There's no doubt in my mind that this card won't grade really well. But that's 97.98. Centering is like spot on. 97, 98. Kobe Bryant doesn't really book very high. All right, and then this card, uh, y'all saw me pull it the other day on my other, my video. KD rookie card. It's a SP rookie card. Um, this card, if it gets, if anything gets under a nine, I usually try to sell it. I don't like to keep anything that it, if it doesn't. Hopefully this card should get at least a 9 mint grade, <clears throat> but if it gets under a 9, I will be selling it, so it just depends. There is a corner that is uh, messed up on it, but this is a SP rookie card. I think it's like uh, $20 maybe, because it's a SP, so his other cards are not, um, his other rookie cards for that year aren't that expensive. All right, here's that one. Um, this is a upper deck sweet shot. 0304. Mr. LeBron James, really sweet card right here, not numbered. Dual jersey card. Sweet shot, dual jersey card. Really nice looking card. Really nice. I should grade it. I don't know if what good grade this card would get. Um, you know, I'm not sure, but it's a it's a really nice card. It's not numbered. <coughs> really sweet card though. LeBron James sweet shot 0304 dual jersey. And you can see the jerseys down there. It's not a patch, just a jersey. That's a really nice card though. I think I paid like $70, $80 for it, maybe. Last year though, right before, I wanted to pick it up right when they were in like the, the championship run because I knew they were going to win. And I figured right whenever he uh, won the championship, you know, his card would go up a lot. So, um, or at least go up, not a lot, but they would go up more. So, I thought that was really sweet. All right, we got another LeBron James rookie. Um, I believe this is uh, Topps Pristine. 
Card number 101, Top of Pristine. And the seller wrote that on there. I don't think I paid $50 for it. But whenever I get a card that I'm going to grade, I just leave it. The holder it's in. So that way the grading company and the card place, uh, they can take it out. And I won't have to possibly mess it up. <clears throat> this is a real nice card. I think I did pay around $50 for it. It's the regular card, the base card, not the refractor. Um, this card should get at least a, a 9.5, I'm sure. Pretty positive that the card will get a 9.5 grade. I do have uh, more PC videos uh, coming soon. Uh, like other, I actually have other graded cards that I can show off that I have gotten graded already. Um, and but I'm not going to do that today. It'd probably be you know next week or something like that. I'm not sure. All right, and this one, we have 97, 98, Kobe Bryant, um, die cut, and this is the SPX gold version. This is the gold version, which is more rare. And this card I actually pulled, but whenever I pulled it, it was back before I filmed or did any YouTube stuff, so y'all weren't able to see the pull. Um, this is the gold version. This is probably about a seventy or eighty dollar card. So I was really happy when I pulled it. It's really hard to pull the golds from this year because from ninety seven ninety eight there's only one card per pack. I think there's about thirty packs per box. But I know that for sure that there's only one pack or one card per pack. So this is a really, again, this is a really rare card. Die cut. Hopefully this card will get a 9. A 9 mint grade. I'm not sure. It may get an 8.5 because of the edges and the corners. Um, you know, I don't know. It, it'll probably, I don't think that this card will grade a 9. I'll end up selling it. I'll probably end up selling this card once I grade it because it won't. I don't think that it's going to get a 9. All right, we're switching to baseball. Switching to baseball. This was a this is a really sweet card. Ricky Russo would probably like this card. I've been watching a lot of his videos lately. He's got a he's got a nice collection. If you don't know who Ricky Russo is, he's a real he's a real nice dude. Now he's got some awesome videos. I love watching his videos because of his accent. I think that he he's got a really cool uh, personality. But he would probably love this card. Uh, baseball, he's been doing a lot of baseball stuff here lately. So I picked this card up for like really cheap off of eBay like a while back. Duke Snyder, game used jersey, and a cut auto. I think I got this card for like less than $40, which is ridiculous. I don't know what the seller was thinking, but he just listed it and nobody bid on it. I was like the only one that bid it. Or the game used, the cut auto. And it gets even better because it's numbered out of 100, which is ridiculous. So it's a cut auto, game use jersey, Duke Schneider. 46 out of 100. Crazy. So it's really ridiculous. This is from uh, O. The it's actually from O Thor or Leaf Certified O Four Cuts Leaf Certified Cuts. That card there, but that's probably one of my favorite ones. I picked it up for really cheap too. So whenever I get that card graded, I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the signature um, graded as well. I mean, you might as well, right? So um, this card I picked up also for really cheap. But I bought this card in person. I did not buy this online, so I was actually able to inspect it first. Uh, I've got another baseball card here of Kirby Puckett, who's actually passed away now. But this is his rookie card, and this card looks to be in almost mint condition. So, of course, I was going to pick it up because cards from this era, if they grade mint condition, they 
their value like jumps up substantially. This card looked to be, like I said, almost in mint condition, which is really good. And the centering and stuff like that is really nice on the front and the back. So that's Kirby Puckett. All right, we're switching back to basketball. Uh, here we have another Kobe Bryant, which I'm hoping that this card great gets uh, graded a nine as well. I'm not sure if it doesn't. Like I said, I'll be selling it off. I'm sure. But this is his rookie card, Kobe Bryant rookie card, SP rookie. Real nice looking card. Rookie card. Um, the only corner up here is a little nicked, I think, this one right here. But um, the edges look okay. It might get downgraded just because of the corners. I figured that it would at least get nine on the corners. So this card should get at least mint grade, hopefully. Uh, all right, moving to football. Um, here we have Barry Sanders, rookie. Barry Sanders, rookie, which is real nice. I've already got uh, two of these that are graded. One I have is graded a 9.5, and the other one I have is graded a 9. And I did get another one graded with a grade of 8.5. I sold it off already. I usually all I used to pick up these cards like crazy. I don't know why, but Barry Sanders, my favorite running back of all time, and so his rookie cards are so cheap. But if they grade really high, then the you can sell them for like you know a ridiculous amount of money. The nine fives you know sell 150 to 200 dollars usually. That's their average price. Um, I've actually got this is in a team bag. I've actually got three. Um, different rookie cards in here. One of these I know is going to grade a 9.5 for sure. Um, if not, I'm trying to get a 10. I'm trying to get a 10 pristine because if you can get a 10 pristine for this card, you know, you're looking at like $1,500 probably. Like, and that's really good because this card only books for like $30. So if you can find one and pick it up for real cheap and it gets graded like a 10, you know. You're gonna make like a bunch of profit off of it because they sell for almost two thousand, I think, for sure. They don't come up that often for team or for team ten grades, but I do have three different uh, Barry Sanders cards in here, um, and I'm gonna grade all three of them at the same time. So I don't know. Hopefully, one of them. I know for a fact one of them they'll get with nine five, but I'm looking for a pristine ten. So. If I get a pristine 10, it's going to be debatable whether I sell it or not. You know, I'm not sure yet, so because I'll be get I would get a lot of money for it. And some people, whenever it comes to cards, they would rather have they would rather have the money than the actual card. But sometimes, when it comes to that kind of stuff, I'd rather have the card because I'm selfish, I guess. So. Alright, we're moving back to basketball. This is uh, my first stack I'm going to keep right here. Um, i got to do this quick though because my girlfriend's on the way home and I don't like to film whenever she's here. So, alright. Alright, we got my first stack done. Alright, we're going back to basketball. we got 0304 LeBron James Topps Chrome. Topps Chrome rookie card, LeBron James. Going to grade this card. This card should get graded a 9. Tops Chrome LeBron James. I knew whenever he won the championships, this card was going to go up. I bought this card for maybe around $70 or $80, and now it's about $150 to $200 card. So um, that's why I'm hoping that, that I'm hoping that he wins the uh, the next championship because that way this card will go up even more. All right, next card, next card. Um, another 0304 rookie, uh, Dwayne Wade Tops Chrome. This card I've I've tossed it back and forth whether to grade it or put it in my graded stack or my selling stack. But this card should probably get a 9 just because it's a little off center. That's the only thing I can find wrong with it. It is off center on the front and the back. You can see from the back it is off center. 
All right, going back to baseball, we have a 2001 rookie. I haven't really inspected this card very much, but I don't know if it's the holder or something like that, but hopefully this card will get a good grade. 2001 rookie, Albert Pujols, Bowman, regular, not the chrome. 2001 Bowman, Albert Pujols, regular card. Should grade pretty well. Um, it's in a screw down holder, so I'm going to get that card graded for sure. Alright, going back to basketball, um, I believe that I picked this up somewhere. I think I might have traded for this card. I don't think that I bought this card or something like that. It's just Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, I think this is the upper deck. Right, yeah, it's the upper deck. Shaquille O'Neal. I believe this is the rookie. Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. This is maybe like a $15 card. So I'm definitely going to try to grade that. Alright, this card should hopefully for sure get a mint. Going to baseball now, back. 1989, Upper Deck, King Griffey Jr. rookie card. You can see the centering is like amazing on that card. On the back, it's amazing. Hopefully if this card gets a 9, this card books for about 40 to $50. dollars it gets a 9, you're probably looking at, you know, 120 you know, 150 something like that. All right, going back to basketball, going to uh, the next year's uh, MVP, 2008 Topps Chrome rookie card, base, not the refractor, Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, nice card. I'm getting a privilege, you're getting to see some really good cards tonight. I'm trying to hurry up to this video though, because my girlfriend's about to be home. Derrick Rose, Topps Chrome rookie card, not the refractor, the base. Trying to get it graded, should get graded a 9. Alright, we got some autographs coming. Alright, going to football, going to football. One of my favorite current running backs since Barry Sanders is retired, you know. But I've looked up this guy, I've watched his videos. I love watching his videos, his highlights. Chris Johnson from 2008. Rookie, auto, score select, red zone. Chris Johnson, rookie autograph. There's his autograph right there. He's got the CJ. I'm going to get that certified. Score, select, red zone. Number, real low number, 2 out of 25. Cute little focus there. Well, you might just have to take my word for it. It's number 2 out of 25. Chris Johnson, select, rookie card. All right, got another autograph card. I picked this card up for real. Real uh, cheap price at the Barry Sanders uh, from 1991. But I, actually, this isn't a rookie card or anything. I just picked it up because of the autograph. It's numbered out of 2,500. It's a Barry Sanders autograph from 1991. You can see right there 1248 out of 2,500. I'm going to get that autograph certified by Beckett whenever I send it in to get graded. So. That way there'll be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right, we're going back to basketball. We've got Kobe Bryant official tops rookie. Earlier I showed the 97-98 version. This is the, his first year, his 96-97. So whenever I get that one graded, I'll have two uh, mint conditions, first and second year Kobe cards of tops. Kobe Bryant rookie, real nice card. All right, got to keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Going back to football, this is a real nice card. Everybody needs to have this in their collection. 1986, Jerry Rice, throwing it back to football right now. I think those my last cards are all football cards. I got three cards left, including this one. 1986, Tops football, Jerry Rice rookie. Should get at least an 8.5, hopefully a 9. All right, going to the next card, 1989, rookie. Troy Aikman, football, rookie card. I'm going to try to get this card at least a 10. Hopefully, this card, this card should get at least a 9.5. No doubt in my mind, it should get a 9.5. There's almost like no flaws on this card. This card is a beauty if you can see it in person. 1989 score rookie. I love this set. This is probably one of my favorite football sets because of Barry Sanders and Troy Aikman. 
And the last card, I basically say the best to last. This is probably my favorite card that I picked up. I think I paid only about $100 for this card. This is a Hall of Fame class of 2004 Barry Sanders autograph. And I don't know what year this is from, actually. Oh, this is from like 2011, yeah. It's from 2011. Hall of Fame class, Barry Sanders autograph. Really sick card. This is probably one of my favorite cards I've ever bought. This is numbered uh, 4 out of 20. 4 out of 20. Number 4 out of 20. This is a really cool card. Really nice. 4 out of 20. Barry Sanders autograph. 2011. Hall of Fame class. Beautiful card. Alright, I showed you on my PC. I gotta get off here and upload this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed all those cards. Eventually I will get, like I said, all of these cards will be graded. And eventually I'll make up another video showing off these cards and what the grades they got. I've got like three or four LeBrons. I've got all this different stuff. Two stacks. I've got about probably 20 cards here. Um, this is just of the mixed sports. So... I do collect more than one thing, even though I'm crazy about, even though I mainly collect basketball and I always do basketball breaks. Um, you know, this is a this is a multi-sport collection, so just so there's no uh, doubt in your mind that you know I do collect everything, but I only collect the best. I don't collect teams because it's a waste of time. So I only collect the best. I stick to the good players. Um, because those are the ones that are worth the most money and they win championships and everything like that so I hope y'all enjoy my video um, I may make another video next week I'm not gonna make any more tonight I hope y'all have a good night enjoy be sure and subscribe and uh, check out my contest video if y'all haven't catch y'all later